the sixth Sunday in Easter, year C, from the Gospel according to John. I do not give to you as the world gifts. In the name of the giver of all good gifts, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for today prepare us for the ascension and the coming of the Spirit at Pentecost, showing us ways in which we may fail to fully understand just what's going on when the Spirit manifests to us. Jesus speaks of that emergence of our awareness and understanding as the Holy Spirit teaching us everything and reminding us of all that Jesus has said to us. We don't just get everything the first or even the 41st time, but only when the Spirit activates the Word within us. In the book of Acts, Paul struggles to understand his vision of a pleading man from Macedonia, which eventually leads him to encounter Lydia outside the city of Philippi. Our reading from Revelation is full of indications that what we see now is only an approximation of what we're actually going to get. The temple is only a focal point of worship in approximation of the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. Our trees support life seasonally in approximation of the tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month. Our waterways bear away debris in approximation of the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. Those waters run clear because God will have already removed from us all that is unclean. And with the Lord God as our light, there will be no shadow of abomination or falsehood. Awareness of the Spirit comes to us as our comforter and our guide because we do not yet live in the holy city Jerusalem. We pray with the psalmist that God's ways might be known upon earth. God's saving help among all nations, because we know that we labor for a kingdom that has not yet come. We celebrate Jesus' ascension precisely because it draws our eyes upwards toward the higher reality that our current teaching can only approximate. This approximation is no lie or half-truth, but rather a preparation for eternal recognition. Let us therefore hold dear whatever Jesus has taught us. In the name of the one in whom all the ends of the earth stand in awe, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>